Hey, what up guys, Chunako here. Today, let's talk about the Resident Evil 7 demo. Players all around the world losing their shit about the Resident Evil 7 demo's mysteries. Well, for those trying to fully complete the Resident Evil 7 demo, here's what we know about Resident Evil 7's greatest unsolved mysteries so far. I hope you're gonna enjoy the video and let's go for it. The Dummy Finger. This little thing has given players more grief than any other part of the Resident Evil 7 demo. Nobody can seem to find a use for it, though many players suspect that it functions as a key of some sort. There are burn marks on the tip and the material it's made from is flammable, so one of the most popular theories is that it needs to be melted down somehow, yet nothing that could conceivably heat up the finger can be used. So could the finger be a decoy? Something that just exists just to mess with players, but otherwise serves no purpose? Hmm... Well, Maximilian Dude, a prominent personality in the fighting game community, tweeted that a Capcom rep informed him otherwise. He said, The axe doesn't have much use, but the dummy finger has a purpose. Well, okay, Mr. Capcom rep. Damn. The dummy finger is found in the first hallway after leaving the TV room. A cabinet opposite the kitchen has a drawer that can be opened and inside is the infamous dummy finger. Players can examine the dummy finger in their inventory to discover that it is made out of flammable materials, celluloid. But otherwise there is no clue as to what to do with this thing. A reddit user said that the finger may serve as some sort of compass, as it always seems to point to the closed and barricaded door on the third floor. He checked the finger multiple times in different locations in the house and, well, like I said, it seems like it always points, like, to the third floor. Well, I don't know. It's still a mystery and honestly, at this point, it seems like the dummy finger is a completely useless item. Hundred thousands of players tried to figure out the mystery behind the dummy finger for like a week now and guess what? Nothing. So I think it's just a decoy or maybe Capcom is going to update the demo soon so we'll be able to use it somehow, I don't know. Please guys, post the comments below what you think of the dummy finger, what are your theories, please let us know in the comments below. Hidden messages. There are tons of hidden messages inside the Resident Evil 7 demo. For example, there are two sets of numbers at the end of the VHS in the bottom right. Put them in as latitude and longitude coordinates and we get a road in Lake Providence, Louisiana. Well, there are papers in the game that have the headline Ghosts in Bayou, so while it doesn't help with continuation of beating the demo, I'm gonna take a wild fucking guess that the game is set in Louisiana specifically at least. People also found some sort of Morse code in the background music. Another interesting thing are the scary hidden voice messages. It sounds like a ghost is giving us some hints. YouTuber Eclipse sorted out the audio lines and... Guys, it gave me goosebumps. It gave me fucking goosebumps. It's scary as shit. So, I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check out the full video. But here is a short clip for you guys. Headphones. During the VHS tape sequence, you can find a pair of headphones on the second floor. There are speculations that these are important, but nothing has been found out about them yet. People tried a lot, like going into the audio settings of the PS4 and setting it to headphones only. Some even say that turning out the game's audio make you hear some weird shit, but that's not confirmed. Ghost sightings. There are seven possible ghost girl sightings during the VHS tape scene. The ghost girl will appear for a fraction of a second and then disappear. Many players speculate that seeing the ghostly girl in all seven locations during one playthrough may trigger, well, something. Maybe the fabled true ending? <laughs> Who knows? It seems nigh impossible to trigger her seven times in one playthrough though. Anyway, here are all the seven locations discovered so far. In the woods on the left, seen when walking on the farmhouse's porch at the beginning of the VHS tape segment. After walking into the farmhouse, turn around to see the ghost girl standing in the doorway. Outside the kitchen sink window in the bottom right hand corner of the window frame. Right after Andre goes missing, look above the doorway leading into the hall. Standing on the stairs after Andre goes missing. In the room under the stairs with a boarded up door. And at the top of the ladder when climbing down to the cellar. 
The X. The X can be found after picking up the lockpick during the VHS tape section. You find the lockpick right next to the fridge. Now open the blue kitchen drawer. After finishing the VHS tape, go into the kitchen and pick up the X. By now it seems like it doesn't have any purpose other than demonstrate how the melee combat will work. You can smash some boxes, you can smash some movable mannequins like the one in the phone room, and that's it. Phone calls. Different phone conversations can be heard based on what you do. One can be heard right after the VHS tape, another after putting the key in the back door, and one before the VHS tape if you run up to the phone very quickly when starting the demo. You can also avoid to get familyed after the phone call by hugging the wall and leaving the room. It's some sort of glitch where the family man simply don't have enough space behind the player character to spawn. Different endings. There are currently three different endings discovered by the players. The first ending is triggered by simply using the backdoor key. Family man will pop up and welcomes you. The second ending triggers the family man right after the phone call. This can be avoided as explained before. The third ending is kinda... well it's kinda random. You also get family like the community is calling it, but it happens on different locations. People still not sure what triggers it. Now. Here's the thing, according to an interview with Jesse Cox on YouTube, one of the devs of the demo has confirmed that there are roughly 4 to 5 different endings. Well, fuck you Capcom. Fuck you. Well, the demo is still a mystery, it may hold even more cryptic secrets. Have you discovered the purpose of the dummy finger, the axe or the ghost girl? Let us know in the comments and also post any other mystery or clues you have discovered in the Resident Evil 7 demo so far. That's it for today guys, thanks a lot for watching and as always, like if you like, dislike if you don't like the shit and feel free to subscribe to our channel for more awesome gaming stuff. See you next time.